And here's the thing with people like David Dole is he will bitch and complain every single time Bernie has done dirty or Bernie has cheated, but he won't give the same sort of courtesy to Yang and Tulsi. Don't get me wrong. I'm biased in favor of Yang as David is biased in favor of Bernie, but there's plenty of times on my channel where I have defended Bernie, stood up for Bernie, defended Tulsi, stood up for Tulsi and give them, uh, you know, their just desserts when credit is due. David Dole doesn't do that. He actually does like the mainstream media does and misinforms his followers instead of giving the candidates a fair shake only because he knows that Yang is, in fact, a a threat and a worthy opponent to Bernie Sanders. How's it, Yang and dudes? My name, dudes and dudettes, excuse me. My name is Sean and welcome back to my channel where we like to poke a little fun at the mainstream media. And that's what it seems like Rational National has become. Because, you know, uh, he is a big Bernie fan, but he's so biased towards Bernie that he misinforms on a daily basis. And this is the kind of shit that really grinds my gears. Look at this video title. Andrew Yang campaign hints he's dropping out soon. Now, the reasons why he gives, uh, the, the reason why he gives for these hints are, are, are non-founded and easily researched. So... Before we get into it, you guys are going to have to smack some gravy on that like button. The algorithm loves the gravy, plus this one's going to need it because I think there's going to be a few salties in the comment section on this correction, this corrected video. So, I, I, I mean, it's been a long time coming, so let's go ahead and get right into it. So, 2020 candidate Andrew Yang has fired dozens of campaign staffers. Now, he's still in the race and is still going to compete in New Hampshire, but by all indications, uh past New Hampshire, he's likely not going to stay in this race. Uh, okay, first of all, this is your opinion that he's likely not going to stay in this race. Second of all, the restructuring of the staff is because some people dropped the ball in Iowa and, you know, there's accountability with Yang, so he fired those staff members. Most campaigns downsize after Iowa anyways, even not given any sort of debacle, right? So kind of already misleading for you to just say that he's firing his campaign staff and that's a hint first 19 seconds and already misinformation much longer so let me just show you the political sto political story on this um yang fires dozens of staffers after iowa debacle the layoffs extended throughout his organization so i'm not going to read this whole thing but i'll give you a little taste here uh andrew yang's campaign fired dozens of staff yeah please don't read the whole thing because the whole thing doesn't you know help your narrative in any way because yang isn't dropping out and this isn't a hint and the article goes on to say that but of course you're not going to cover that are you of course not because guess what it doesn't help your narrative and here's the thing with people like david dole is he will bitch and complain every single time bernie has done dirty or bernie has cheated but he won't give the same sort of courtesy to yang and tulsi don't get me wrong i'm biased in favor of yang as david is biased in favor of bernie but there's plenty of times on my channel where i have defended bernie stood up for bernie defended Tulsi stood up for Tulsi and give them uh you know their just desserts when credit is due David Dole doesn't do that he actually does like the mainstream media does and misinforms his followers instead of giving the candidates a fair shake only because he knows that Yang is in fact a a threat and a worthy opponent to Bernie Sanders because UBI is so much more progressive than just Medicare for all it solves so many more issues and so he has to misinform and mislead and make it put it out there as if Yang is dropping out when none of these accounts show that he's dropping out he said his own words that he's going to go into spring and even if he is dropping out it's not about the White House it's about keeping his ideas alive and you can you know disinform as and you can give as much information misinformation as you want it's not going to change that fact Staffers this week after an abysmal finish in the Iowa caucuses, according to four former staffers who were let go. Among those dismissed were the national uh, political and policy directors of the campaign, as well as the deputy national political director, all senior level positions. The people who were fired worked across Yang's organization, from his headquarters in New York to the now disbanded Iowa operation. What he doesn't go on to say is in this very article, um, you know, they say that Yang says that these aren't uh, senior staff positions and they're just titles and titles are anything like i've said before i can say if i work at a grocery store i am the lunch meat rotation technician well that, hell that sounds like a hundred thousand dollar a year job doesn't it no i'm just rotating lunch meat <laughs> you know what i mean i'm just stocking lunch meat so it's just more information to every step of the way he only looks at the tidbits that that you know give his narrative i'm not saying that gang's running away with the nomination i'm not saying that he's not doing you know poorly compared to other times but why not call out, you know, like say, okay, you know, Yang's campaign is kind of slowing down a little bit, but because of, you know, 
the DNC rigging it against him, because of, of the uh, baloney polls, because of all the reasons that you bitch about Bernie Sanders being kept down, you failed to mention those for Yang. You're saying it as if it's just a run-in-the-mill average campaign and there's nothing to see here when he's an outsider candidate. He's a, a first-year uh, you know, candidate running like this. He's bringing huge um, ideas. He's made a huge wave in politics. He's, br he's brought new universal uh, ideas. But you say it as if he's just like you know, an A.B. Klobuchar or a, you know, or a Cory Booker. You know, he's totally different than that, and you just failed to mention that. You know, like me, whenever I cover Bernie, you know, I disagree with Bernie a lot, and I will give my positions on why I think Yang is better than Bernie. But at the end of the day, I will call out corruption when it's due, and that's the reason why Bernie didn't totally win in Iowa. He should have. They were rigged. Bernie and Yang are the only ones who had any sort of drop in numbers past the on you know on the ground reporting. But of course he's not going to say that because it doesn't suit his narrative because he's doing the exact same thing he bitches about the mainstream media doing to Bernie. He's doing it to Yang because he knows that Yang is a threat. Start firing people that work on the national like national level with your campaign. Senior level positions, yeah. You're not you're not going to be in this much longer. Uh again, these are hints that you are putting on Yang. These are not hints that he is dropping. And again, if you just scroll a little further down the article, it says that they're not senior level positions. Political is just saying they are based off the title when Yang says that they're not. Who else's word would you take it for? Political or Yang? Oh, wait, you're going to take the word of whoever fits your narrative. Right, right. Um, it was a valiant effort. Uh, I think Yang brought some some unique ideas to the discussion. I think UBI is something that is worth discussing, and I think we should continue continue to discuss it and its its uh, viability. But the campaign's coming to an well. Well, thank you for that, David. Um, I'm I'm glad you're saying that now after you've made what six or seven videos, uh, you know, saying how Yang's UBI isn't good and how you know Bernie's Medicare for all is so much more better when it doesn't put money in your hands. It just gives money to the government to tell you how to use your Medicare. You know what I'm saying? So, thank you for saying these nice things. You know, but uh, you know, your past history shows different. So it's almost as if you're just taking a victory lap on dis disinformation, misinformation that's not even true. An end. And if you're in New Hampshire and you're a Yang supporter, I would just go to Yang's recent comments about Iowa, about what he said about Bernie Sanders in the past. Yang, it appears right now, if Yang were to back out and potentially um, endorse somebody, that it would be Bernie Sanders, just based on his recent actions or what he has said. So before the Iowa caucuses, Andrew Yang said that he could he assumes or could envision that many of his supporters would go to Bernie Sanders if he doesn't make it past the uh, the first vote. So there's a, in Iowa caucuses, there's a first vote, then a realignment. So Yang essentially saying a lot of his support could go to Bernie Sanders. Already more disinformation. He's referencing the Bloomberg article that everybody has debunked. He's trying to, the Bloomberg article put words in Yang's mouth saying that he would back Bernie. He would take, take, tell his supporters to go uh, and caucus for Iowa. I was already over and Yang didn't do that. So you're already giving old information that's already debunked. And for those of you who want proof that Yang never backed Bernie Sanders or said he was going to support Bernie Sanders or throw his uh, supporters to Bernie Sanders in Iowa, here you go. So David is just wrong and misinforming. Here's the proof. In a certain precinct, your supporters have a chance then to go and back someone else on the second ballot. Where do you expect most of your supporters to go in those precincts where you don't hit 15%? And are you going to encourage them towards a particular candidate? Uh, and as to what our supporters might do if we don't reach that threshold in a particular place, we have a very, very diverse group of supporters. Uh, I can't speak for where they would head. Uh, I do have a sense that many of them have supported uh, Bernie in the past, but many of them supported President Trump and they might just leave. So there are a, a whole range of possibilities and I can't speak to the minds of literally thousands of Iowans. And you're not going to give them any kind of direction or encouragement in that way? Well, right now we have no plans to do so. And on top of that, Yang has not said he's going to endorse anybody. If anything, he said he favors uh, Joe Biden the most. Him and Joe are friends because he's working with the Obama coalition. So you're just spinning it to make it seem as if Yang is supportive of Bernie. It's just, and even if he does support Bernie, it doesn't matter. We're not supporting anybody else. The Yang gang is not, half of them will, half of them won't. We're about UBI. We're not about bandwagons. I think that was a clear hint that he supports Bernie Sanders. That out of this entire field, it would be Bernie Sanders that he backs. So, again, we're going to have to wait and see. Um, 
that was a clear hint that you are assuming, <laughs> assuming, it was a Bloomberg article that's been completely debunked. You are literally living such a Bernie bubble that you can't, you know, just look at the facts and do the smallest amount of research. The smallest amount of research will show that the Bloomberg article was fake, it was debunked, and then you're just touting this days later to make it seem as if Yang is so favorable to Bernie. And, dude, it's, this is the reason why so many of Bernie's supporters have left and either supported Trump or supported Yang or Tulsi. It's because people like you will do the exact same thing that the mainstream media, you know, does to Bernie, but you'll do it to the other candidates who threaten Bernie, who are actually outside establishment. It sucks, dude, because I like your channel a lot and you cover a lot of stuff, you know, pretty accurately. But now I kind of have to take a little step back and think about all your other videos. Is there this sort of spin on them? Is there this sort of, um, you know, angle to make your narrative, you know, what it is? I, I don't know. I'm losing a little bit of faith in you, David. But if you are a Yang supporter and you're going to New Hampshire, understand Yang has no he has no path to victory. Um, I mean, I would say Joe Biden at this point has barely any <laughs> any path to victory. Or of course, you're going to say nobody has a path of victory except for Bernie because you're in a Bernie bubble. But that's that's just wrong to say Yang doesn't have a path of victory is not looking at historical precedent. Bill Clinton had 2.7 percent of the vote in Iowa. He was uh, one step from being dead last. Guess what he did? He fired his campaign staff. He restructured some senior level advisors and then went on to win the whole thing. So you're not giving Yang a decent shake. You're not giving him a fair shake. You're writing him off already. Um, and if this was Bernie, you'd be, you know, shouting at the rooftops, rigging, rigging corruption, but you're not giving Yang that same, you know, benefit of the doubt. And that's why people, you know, whenever they watch, uh, you know, if you're not hardcore or Bernie Bros and you come to like David's channel or something like that and you see stuff like this, you automatically go, well, you know, you're obviously living in a bubble. You're not giving anybody a fair shake. That's why on my channel, I constantly be like, okay, well, Bernie's right on this. Bernie's right on this. I disagree with him in this. Tulsi's right here, but I disagree with her here. You know, credit where credit's due. And I don't, it, it's just, you have to be able to give people a decent, decent, fair shake if you expect, you know, people to join your campaign instead of writing them off with misnomers and, and non-factual biases of hints that you assume for him. Elizabeth Warren, like, just based on where the momentum is, where the energy is, how all the polls are moving right now, it appears it's going to be uh, Bernie, maybe Buttigieg is going to be in this race, but even he may fall off quickly after the first states, the early states, because he hasn't put much um, uh, investment into states past the, the early ones, and uh, Bloomberg. So it's going to be it's going to be a very weird race. But I think at this point, you have to back the candidate that you like the most out of those three. He is doing exactly what the mainstream media does to Bernie, especially in 2016. They all said, Bernie's trailing Hillary, Bernie's trailing Hillary, Bernie's Bernie's coming in uh, second and third. You, why Why would you support Bernie? Don't support, you gotta, you clearly have to support Hillary Clinton. That's the exact same he's doing with Bernie Sanders. Well, you know, you have to support one of the top three because the other ones just don't have a chance. When Bernie was in the third place, you didn't say that in 2016, did you? No, you kept fighting for him. Just because more people are doing, you know, just because the media is allowing more people to be more popular doesn't mean that that's who you automatically. People who act like this, oh, you because of numbers, you have to vote on these people because they're a likelihood to win. If you vote based off the likelihood to win, you're voting against your self-interest. Vote based off of, of what you believe in. Like, what happened to you, David? So uh, this is the time to choose a side and, and really get in this fight and join us. Become a part of this of the Sanders movement and and really push to um, transform the country for the better. And understand that UBI is going to have, there will be zero discussion about UBI if Pete Buttigieg is the candidate, and zero discussion about UBI if it's Bloomberg. So if you. Guess what? Unless Bernie Sanders comes out 100% and says, yes, UBI will be one of my flagship policies in the same way that Andrew Yang proposes it, and then brings Andrew Yang on his VP, you're not going to get more than 40% of the Yang gang to support Bernie Sanders if Yang drops out. That's the way it is. We have picked our candidate, we have picked our side, and we pick humanity, buddy. So, it is what it is. Hope you guys like, enjoy. Um, 
just so you know, I do, I like David a lot, you know, that's the reason why I've waited so long to do this correction on him, um, I just don't know what happened to him, you know what I'm saying, he's usually get, get used to give a fair shake, so now I have to kind of readjust my thinking on the rest of the videos, and I said that as a conservative watching the progressive, so it is what it is, guys, smack a like, hope you guys enjoy it, I have another story coming up soon where Tom Perez just openly lies about the Iowa rigging on CNN, and that'll be coming up in a couple hours, hope you guys enjoy it. <laughs>